go closer, we are going closer and closer until inshallah we will reach in these days where we will be fasting. But there is nothing we have prepared. But there is nothing we have prepared. If the person comes to you, were well, you preparing for Ramadan? He said, no. Why? I didn't know if I'll be alive or not. I didn't know that I'll be alive or not. Okay, it's fine. But now as I'm saying, this is much. People that have already started contributing money, contributing and keeping it for December. When you are keeping it, are you aware that you are going to reach in that month? Are you aware that you are going to reach in that month? No, you will not. But you are keeping for that. But when it comes to make your life happy, when it comes to make your heart clean, when it comes to prepare when the way of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is when he said, I don't know, I was not sure if I will be alive or not. Even Ramadan, I don't know if I will be alive or not. But for things which you are, for the dunya, you are still keeping it. That you don't, you, want, you don't know either you are alive or not. But why you don't do it with the way of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? With the way of worshiping Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. How many of us we have prepared that the Ramadan is coming? Now I want each and every day, I want to feed five people, those who will be fasting. How many of us we have prepared? No, I didn't prepare. The reason why I didn't know if I will be alive or not. That's the answer. That's the answer which will be answering. How many of us we have been preparing that we know we want to give iftar to people? Iftar of people. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make it, made it easy for us. Iftar for the one person who is fasting. It's not even 15 rand for one person. You can make iftar for one person. But I'm not ready because I was not aware that I will reach. But how many people we have been buying beer for them? How many people we have been giving them money for bed? How many people we have been giving them credit even to do something wrong? Without knowing that we will be alive or not for them to give us bar our money. Without knowing that those kids they are going to give us benefits or not. How many people, how many children of us we have spent a lot of money at the schools without knowing that either we will be alive or not by the time they will come the rich people. But when it comes to the way of worshiping Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, I don't know, I'm not sure if I will be alive or not. Brothers and sisters, let us not pray with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Let us not play with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Let us not joke with our life. Let us not joke with our prayers. Let us not joke with our supplications we do to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Let us not joke with the peace which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given to us. We are joking with the peace which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given us. We are playing with the peace which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given us. The peace which other people they are crying for that. The peace which other people they never get it. Even they doubt for that. But you and me we have it and we are useless on that. We don't want to use it in the way which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has commanded us. Brothers and sisters, the Ramadan is coming for you and me. The Ramadan which is coming is the respite time. The chance which has given to you. The chance which will be given to us. The chance which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala put more in that month. The chance which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala always show mercy to his servants. The chance is just increase. Allah has just increased the bonus which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given us for Homan. For Homan. The bonus which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given us for Homan. After giving us the 11 months, we with having the powerful life, the healthier life, the good wealthy, the good way of, gov of governing of our life. We have been worrying and saying that things are not going well. Until now we are still alive. We have been worrying saying that things are not going well for us. But yet people are not taking us to the graves. We are still surviving and living in the way which we have been living. But we are not grateful to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We are not thankful to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We are not even ready to do for the things which we can do. That we can get more from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, وَأَقِيمُ الصَّلَاةَ وَآتُ الزَّكَاةَ That you need to establish salah and practice charity. وَمَا تُقَدِّمُوا لِأَنفُسِكُمْ مِنْ خَيْرٍ تَجِلُوهُ عِنْدَ اللَّهِ وَمَا تُقَدِّمُوا لِأَنفُسِكُمْ مِنْ خَيْرٍ تَجِلُوهُ عِنْدَ اللَّهِ That whatever the good things you are doing to Allah, whatever you are sending it to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, you are going to get it. Now let me ask you the question. That money, the one you and me, we are using to give our girlfriends, when are we going to get it? When are we going to get it? That money which you and me, we used to help our friends to go and buy beer, when are we going to get it? That man of you and me which we are using for the sake of our own children only to send them out school, sending them too much thousands of rand. When are we going to get them? We are not sure. We are not sure for that. Even if we are sending our children, we are not sure either they will qualify or not, but we have spent money. Without knowing the results which will come from there. But why we are not sharing with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? Why we are not spending in the way of Allah when Him is assuring us that whatever you send forward to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, you're going to find it with Him. 
Whatever you send forth so to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, you are going to send it, you are going to find it with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The proof is showing that you, when you send something to Allah, there is something for you. The proof is when calamities come to you, when the difficulties come to you, will you raise up the hand and asking Allah. Why? Why do you raise up the hand and asking Allah? You know that there is mine to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You know that there is mine to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But at the end of the day, when you get late from January until to December, there is not even 1,000 you spend on the way of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. There is not even 1,000. There is not even 500 you spend in the way of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Not even a single day to come to the mosque to throw something in the box. Never. But when the calamities come to you, you raise up your hand and asking Allah, why don't you go back to the school where you pay fees and tell them that borrow me that money, I'll give you back because I want to use it. Why don't you go back where you bet that I have been banking here, now I want my money? Why don't you go back there to that girlfriend of yours? Where we go and give the money, say, no, my baby, give me back that money, I'll give you again. Where we don't go, why we don't go there? We know that it is useless, it can't come back to us. You know that it is useless and we can't come back to us. How can you go and tell someone that give me my credit when you know that you didn't give me money? How can you go to someone and ask someone that hey, I'm here, I'm here, I want to collect my credit, the one you took from me? When you know that the person didn't know you? It's what you and me we do. When the calamities come, is when we are raising up our hand and asking Allah to give us, when we didn't give anything to Allah. When we didn't give anything to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, when the calamities come to us, is when we kneel down and we cry, Hey Allah, please give, forgive me. Oh Allah, help me. What kind of help you want from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala when there's no relationship between you and him? We have the relationship with those people whom we are eating with them our money. We have the relationship with those people whom we cut the relationship with our own blood brothers. Because of them, we are happy with them. We are sharing everything with them. But when the calamities come, we are turning to Allah and asking Him to give us back. Go back to those people where you spend those things. Go back to Him. That's why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, whatever you spend. Whatever you spend, you are going to meet it. You are going to find it to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. One day, Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam was narrated the story to the Sahaba radiallahu anhu. That those people, those who are doing the good things, one day they meet with their problems. They face with their problems on their way. So because of that, they knew that there is no one who can send them except Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So they told each other that, you know what? For us to get the compassion of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, because Allah tells us in the Quran that whatever we spend, we're going to find it in Him. Whatever we spend, we are going to find it from Him. So it is our time now to find out what we spend to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So let us start mentioning the good things which we have done to Allah, so that Allah must give it back to us and it must save us to this situation. Until all of them, they were mentioning it to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. According to what you did, according to how you spent, according to whatever they provide in the way of Allah. And Allah was giving them one by one, one by one, until they got the help of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Salaamu alaykum. For you and me today, if the calamities come on our homes, if the problems come on our life, are you sure that we have something which we can complain from Allah? Are you sure that we have something which we can complain from Allah? Are you sure that there is someone we serve him in the way of Allah? No. If we spend something, it's not that because of Allah. But we wanted the person to be grateful. We wanted to show the person that we have something. We wanted to know that the person must know that us, when we want to give, we give. That's why sometimes when the beggars come to us, we do tell them, I'm not happy today, go. When the beggar says, I'm not in mood today, go. The mood is telling us that we do that not because of Allah, but we do that because of our mood. So that's why when the calamities are coming to us, when we are asking Allah to help us, now Allah says, I'm not in the mood also today. When we are asking Allah, Allah tells us that I'm not in the mood today. That's why we don't get. Because us, when we want to spend in Allah, we don't spend. But we give when we are in the mood. We give when we are in the mood. We are happy today. We want to show people that we have received bonuses. Yes, yeah, it is money. Uh, where are we going? We have received bonus, my friend. You are not giving in the name of Allah, but you want to show him that you have received bonus from your boss. That's why you gave from what you make intention. You give from what you have. Brother, what is you don't say no, is just I just want to share with you what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given you. He said, No, we just want to show you that sometimes we do have money. Because when we look at us, you look like we don't get money. Why do you get money? But we don't want to show people. Here it is. You must know that again, man. Not the intention what you have. Now when the calamities and problems comes to you, when you ask Allah, ask also, which thing you are asking from me? Because you didn't give me. 
Which thing you are asking from me? You spend it the way which you know yourself. When you are happy, when you want to show your mood is what you do. That's why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, those who are grateful to Allah, those who Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is happy with them, are